Okay, this is a punk called uh, Rob Skiba. Uh, a few people have made exposure videos about him. You can see part of his resume here. Um, he used to be involved in making movies and such companies as Illuminations Production Services and all that, right? Um, could be basically uh, part of the Illuminati. I'm not saying, yeah, he's definitely part of a secret society, but you know, it's just the certain people that work for certain companies, if you know what I'm saying. He himself, he went to film school. He didn't say Hollywood film school, which we all know the satanic elements behind Hollywood's uh, film and what goes on behind the scenes, but uh, he also says he was third generation army. Here it says he went, he worked for Illuminations Production Services and DreamWorks. Okay guys, so let's start, let's start putting all the clues together, shall we? And uh, he also said he did some modeling and some acting before becoming a preacher or minister or whatever he calls himself now. So come on guys. Yeah, man, let's look at some uh, videos that he's made. The uh, guy's just a disinfo agent. He's on the, the payroll of uh, either a secret society or the shadow government, basically. He's out there putting so much disinformation out there that, that it's unbelievable. Um, he's made up some models of the flat earth according to his own imagination, which the Bible bear witnesses against devising wicked imaginations uh, this this is really for Rob Skiba this one here comes to pass when he heareth the words of this curse that he blesses himself in his heart saying I shall have peace though I walk in the imagination of mine heart to add drunkenness to thirst you know the guy's already um, you know, Thirst talks about the, the lack of the Spirit of God. He doesn't have the Spirit of God in his life. And uh, he's adding drunkenness to it. And he's causing everyone who basically listens to him to be thrown off uh, from um, truth. And this is why we must only pursue the truth through the Son of God, Yeshua. Um, th there's no second means. I mean, obviously, as believers, we should help one another to come to the realization of, of truths and uh, bear testimony um, about how God has shown us these truths. But these guys don't have any testimonies whatsoever. It says in the Bible that we shall uh, overcome Satan by the, the word of our mouth, the testimony of our mouths. I just don't hear any testimonies from these people except they've been working for satanic companies. They uh, they believe in the conjunction. When I made this... So this is Rob Skiba talking about the lunar Sabbath. Now, nowhere in the Bible does it talk about a conjunction in English or Hebrew or Greek or any other language. If, if you study um, about the new moons and Sabbaths and even in Judaism, they never mention the conjunction, ever, ever. You know, there's, there's no um, rabbi who's ever written that a new moon starts, uh, sorry, that a new month or indeed a new man um, starts at a conjunction but uh, this is what Rob Skiba said that 119 ministries which I've never been led to again follow that ministry um, I've looked at a few uh, World's Last Chance videos but even then they deny hell uh, which is real I mean Jesus spoke about hell spoke on hell which comes before the, the lake of fire judgment but hell is an actual prison for the lost souls, and it's a it's a very dark place. It's a very um, yes, there is there is fire there. There is all kind of things going on there. Um, the lake of fire judgment comes later on. So that's another ministry that's sort of gone off the rails. You know, the, the world's last chance. Even though they've got good information for SDAs on the lunar Sabbath, Rob Skiba is a government agent or as it says working for a secret society this video i did too i've since come off of that page and boy i'll tell you what uh, i'm getting just slammed with people sending me stuff emailing video right rob i mean so you're moaning about people asking questions um when you've you've got a paid ministry you're being paid to do this people are tithing money to you 
um, you're also getting paychecks from who knows where you know and you're moaning that people are asking questions which are quite entitled to ask questions Rob very entitled to ask questions was in uh, actually hard copy somebody just recently sent me uh, a hard copy booklet that they put together on uh, the Lunar Sabbath issue and let, let me just say I well the Lunar Sabbath issue as you put it Rob um, has over 70 scriptures backing it up that tells you when the new moons are tells you that every uh, Hebrew month is started with a new moon and when in fact the Sabbath days are found within these months or moons okay the, the over 70 scriptures you're ignoring there Rob so that's a bit of disinformation there Rob I would say right around the same time uh, I did this video or here or shortly afterwards um, maybe it was around the time I did this video I think it was uh, the January 2013 so professional isn't he <laughs> I don't know what he's been doing with his, with his life but uh, it's sad that people follow this man I mean it's really sad um, the guy's a disinfo agent and he will drag your soul to hell because he's so full of false teaching and wickedness here's a comment from a a, um, a godly young chap you are quite wrong you have a choice of which calendation to use for the appointed times Yahweh's lunar solar calendar or Pope Gregory's solar only calendar which totally ignores the moon as a timekeeping device and you can see you know, Rob doesn't even re um, rebuke this guy correctly. Okay, no one is ignoring the moon in terms of a timekeeping device. And then he goes on to say, um, the Bible doesn't teach that uh, it's for Sabbaths, <laughs> which is just crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, either you use God's timekeeping calendar of the the sun, moon, and stars, or you don't use it. You either do or you don't. There's no no in betweens. You can't use two calendars. Um, otherwise, just disinfo. The man goes on to say, um, "You have chosen the Pope's calendar, witnessed by the fact that you use the words Saturday and Sunday, which uh, are actually against the Torah to use these words. Okay, these are worse than swear words. You know, if I called Rob a little a little shit." Okay, that that'd be known as a swear word, but but really it just means um, excretion. You know, it just means uh, whatever. You know. But these words are actually swear words within the Torah because they're naming different gods, and they're not only that, but they're they're naming God, part of God's creation as different gods. So that's uh, that's a big no-no. But yet Rob will uh, worship God on one of these days, and most Christians do, or um, Jews or Christians do, worship on one of these false pagan holy days created by the Catholic Church. You won't find these words anywhere in the Bible. Doesn't that ring a bell in your head? Also, who cares what day the moon was created on? Yahweh created everything with a certain degree of maturity built in. When he created birds, he did not bunch uh, put a bunch of eggs on the earth likewise when he created the moon on the fourth day it had a degree of maturity my opinion is you people cling to Saturday Sabbath because you believe you will lose f money they're not really cared, cared about using followers but it's the money that come from these followers so I would correct them and say they're actually scared of losing money that's why they keep a Saturday or a Sunday Leave your precious Gregorian calendar, which will hurt you financially. Oh, the guy, the guy's spot on. I couldn't have put that better myself. So, um, yeah, he tries to re re rebuke him, which go goes absolutely nowhere. And the guy just comes back and says, let me understand this correctly. Uh, these pagan days, which you keep mentioning, has nothing to do with the Gregorian calendar. He's trying to, he's trying to deny that it's from, from the pagan um, Roman Catholic calendar and here it is right from the Torah Yahweh said let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night let them be for signs and seasons for days and years 
Let them be for lights in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth, and it was so. Yahweh made two great lights, and he set them in the firmament of heaven to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, to divide the light from the darkness. Um, so that looks like a calendar to me there. That That's what we have as a, a time measuring, uh, it is measured by light, okay? And that's why we have the first light, or sliver of light on the moon, and that's how we get the new moon. Okay, also Rob, the quotes from Rick Warren's book, The Purpose Driven Life, and here is Rick Warren shaking hands with the Pope. Here he showed you book, The Purpose Driven Life, written by Rick Warren, this guy right here shaking the hand of the Pope of the Roman Catholic Church. So there's another big clue that this guy's a deceiver, okay? This this guy, Rick Warren, he sells the New World Order agenda. He's been exposed. You can find over 100 videos of him, I'm sure, being exposed. But anyway, let's move on with uh, Patricia Steer, who is a shill, okay? If you don't know, she's a shill yet did some shows with uh, Patricia Steer who is a shill okay if you don't know she's a shill yet then you gotta wake up man because it's very very obvious now all you have to do is look at this image look at the background and see which the portrait she has okay we all know the symbolism behind that and uh, just like Rick Warren there's more than a few videos exposing her. Now, this guy's gonna be in some flatters meeting along with her, and Zan Garcia, and Mark Sargent, and all the other shields. So, I'm gonna expose. Alright, people, so this is a short video, but I'm gonna make another one if you guys aren't convinced. Getting pretty tired of seeing this guy show up everywhere in the flatters movement. And yes, Star Wars. I mean, my, my seven year old mind was blown when I saw that movie 13 times in the theater the first year it came out. And after seeing it 12 more times in the theater the first year it came out, I knew exactly what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. He's a shill. We worked it all over the country. I even modeled a little. I went to film school. I did uh, become a filmmaker. I was uh, at that time doing a lot of corporate video. Uh, and uh, then later ended up becoming a missionary. I was in the Army for eight years, and one of the reasons I joined the Army because I wanted to fly helicopters and became a helicopter pilot because I had heard that the astronauts had to learn helicopters to fly the lunar landers. So, so this uh, brilliant researcher, you know, when looking for the truth, where does he go? He goes to his own website. <laughs> where, else would, where else would he go? Uh, while you were talking, I went ahead and looked it up. Uh, on my website, robschannel.com, People are interested in checking for themselves. They go to robschannel.com, and in the menu, uh, they can – let me just enlarge this here. There we go. Uh, so they can click on Facebook notes, click on Ephraim Awakening, and then scroll it's, down. It's always like, you know, like when you type in flat earth to a search engine now, it's all of Rob Skiba's um, studies on flat earth. It's like, it's like he's, just a, he's just the authority now on everything. Everything biblical, you know, everything that the people are studying scriptures, you know, like the Todd Todd White's, or you know, if you're into like praying for people or doing deliverances or healing, you know, he, he's the guy to go to if you want to study the Bible. You know, this uh, little shell, uh, you know, is, is is the one that they they sort of run to to get answers. <laughs> These lost sheep, I've got to say. And I've got commandments, Sabbath, and the feast. And right here where it says oh, wow. lunar or wow, week, Sabbath, if you wow. click on that, it opens up my Facebook <laughs> note on it. And look, I mean, these are all the languages that, all the that languages. you know, the word that they use for... <laughs> all the, the languages? What, there's like hundreds of languages in the world, but he's, he's okay, all right. They, we now call Saturday is either derived from the Hebrew Shabbat or the... Whoa, the, it's a big lie, it's a big red flag right there. No. Uh, the, the the term Saturday comes from the word Saturn Saturn's day doesn't come from Sabbath's day it comes from it comes from the pagan the pagan Roman Catholic Church Pope Gregory when he started naming the days after the Egyptian astrological system Rob which is in the Encyclopedia Britannica it's in the Encyclo Jewish Encyclopedia all the big encyclopedias, Rob. But uh, let's just kick all the encyclopedias out and go to Rob's website. He's he's the the big authority on the on these issues, eh? <laughs>
and most of these things will come from Rob Skiba's website about the flat earth you know all just made up from his imagination there's no actual evidence of it but uh, here he is with his camera and uh, well these are all graphically enhanced images they're all just made up um, by graphic artists they're not actual actually using his camera there may as well uh, stick it where the sun don't shine Rob because you're not using uh, evidence you're not you're not you're actually accusing NASA of lying which you know but you have to work out how they're lying you can't just say you know okay they're lying but you have to work out how they're lying you, you don't just invent new lies <laughs> uh, and then say that that's truth no this is this is major lying Rob this is this is outright lies yeah maybe NASA have twisted a few things maybe they've airbrushed a few photographs a few satellite photographs maybe they airbrushed them maybe they, they did some graphic enhancement but this is all just from the imagination as the Bible says all just from the imagination men's hearts are wicked continually and went backward not forwards and this is this is how Rob is taking any truthers or any Christians that, that, that want to understand the Word of God are not going to God they're going to Rob Skiba for truth and he's giving you this he's giving you this he's giving you old pictures um, this is quite an ancient picture actually um, which again doesn't look like this but uh, you know this is Rob's version right here I mean this this is this kind of looks like a bird, a bird feeding table you know we've seen a lot of bird feeding tables like that with a little fountain coming out here and uh, the birds come and they eat the grain just at the corners there just as the angels are sitting there it's quite nice it's quite a romantic you know um, definition but it's not proven it's not essential to your salvation that you need one of these images to to stare at and say oh this is truth I'm going to call this truth because uh, I kind of like Rob or I kind of like uh, the artist or whatever it's another icon which is an idol okay and this guy is dragging souls into hell I'm telling you that right now this guy is a shill this guy is a shill look at him you know, adding drunkenness to thirst. Drunken thirst, thirst there, and there's drunkenness. <laughs> oh man, Rob Skiba is a shill, my friends. Stop following the guy. Stop following the guy. Proves globe. I don't know. Somebody's looked at his false teachings and said, "Look, well, you know." You're not actually proving nothing. All you're proving is what's already there. Because you can't prove anything else. Um, some of people say that the moon is like a... Um, what do you call it? A mirage that you can see through? Like you can see through it? Uh, I've not seen evidence enough for that either. These guys are just shells and they're just uh, building up their little bank accounts through uh, ignorant people people that are not going to the Lord for truth it may as well look like that the flat earth who knows who knows man but this is uh, destroys NASA fake okay so he's saying that that's a joined image right okay I mean maybe maybe but we, we don't know for sure, do we? Oh yeah, we see that there. Like Walt Disney and The Lion King, they, they, they did this. Okay, there's a different image. I understand there's not a, enough uh, pictures of the, the, the globe, you might call it, or the spherical earth, but the evidence seems to suggest this, this type of shape because we have the rising and setting of the sun and we have over 70 scriptures that support you know a lunar sabbath 
but Rob doesn't want to touch any of them. He doesn't want to actually discuss any of them. Maybe I'll just look at a few of these things right now. Okay, this is from the Lunar Sabbath booklet. Arnold Bowen wrote this, and uh, there's many examples of uh, either rest days on the 1st, 8th, 10th ten, uh, sometimes, which is like Yom Kippur, 22nd and 29th of the, the moon, you know, which is talking about the moon phases here on the 7th month, it's talking about uh, in Ezekiel 46, 1, there's also a rest day, um, Numbers talks about all new moons, which are special sacrifices on the new moons, apart from the Sabbath days. So there's a sacrifice for the Sabbath days, a sacrifice for the new moons, which proves that they are special days, according to the Bible, according to the Word of God, and that the moon is used in the Yahweh's calendar, along with the sun. many examples uh, here I think uh, Isaiah 66 shall come to pass from one new moon to another from one Sabbath to another all flesh shall come to worship before me saith Yahweh so that's a prophecy for the messianic age Judaism hasn't been able to preserve Yahweh's calendar, it's compromised with the nations. Christianity is also compromised with the false church and compromised with the nations. They're actually going against the Word of God in the hope that they can just prove that uh, the Sabbath is now Jesus, you know. Jesus says, Indeed, come to me, those who are heavy laden, and I shall give you rest. But does that mean that the, the weekly Sabbath is, is, is done away? And Jesus never said that. It is still part of the Ten Commandments. And there are many, many, many dozens, over 70 examples in the Bible of the Jews, the Israelites, resting on the first, eighth, um, 22nd, 29th or in the 15th also of the lunar month hallelujah so another good example there Exodus chapter 16 which coincides with the Apostle Paul's journey um, which proves how many days he took in his journey, which uh, this booklet looks into as well. Actually pinpoints the days that he was speaking about. Pretty amazing. And the shofars or the trumpets were meant to be blown on the new moons and Sabbaths, as it says in uh, David wrote this in the book of Psalms. He would, of course, made sure that these commands would have been observed while he was the king. Some of the other kings of Israel, Jews, kings of Judah as well, they uh, disobeyed the word of God. They went after different gods, like Solomon. So another example uh, in Amos 8.5. When will the new moon be gone that we may sell corn? So this is a, an example that the new moons were counted as Sabbaths, like on the first day of the new moon, and the Sabbath that we may set forth wheat, you know, they, they want to do work, you see. <laughs> so they're, they're not enjoying these holy days that God gave to Israel, and, and Jesus himself says that uh, the Sabbath has been given to man, you know, as a great gift, because if you're working doing several work every day you're very glad to see a rest day and then you can spend it with the Lord you can pray, reflect on your week 
um, have the Lord's Supper if that's what you want to do but uh, this is not how the church is set up this is not uh, the, the mindset of the church and the mindset sadly of Judah as well is not uh, correct according to the Torah according to scripture this is why we need Jesus Christ in our lives in order to that we can um, have faith in him uh, to 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 please God and walk according to his word now here's an example of Solomon keeping the Sabbath on the 22nd day the seventh month if you look at it in the Chronicles there Exodus 16.23 Quite amazing We can have this harmony with our Creator According to His commandments According to what He created He can give us understanding as to why He created the, the sun, moon and stars uh, this, this of course is just a major gap in uh, the Christian church And it's uh, not fully understood either I believe without the Holy Spirit in these days you must have the Son to have the Father in other words you must have the Son to receive the, the Holy Spirit of God and gain understanding of God's creation and be in harmony with our Creator keeping His commandments in faith and uh, so this video has blessed you don't follow any man follow Yeshua the Messiah